All right, today I'm doing problem 440. Uh, take a moment to stop and read the problem, think how you would solve it. Okay. I'm assuming you actually did that. If you didn't, go back and do it. If you did, good job. So, we know the initial velocity and we know the distance we need it to stop in so we can find the acceleration. Because A is equal to V naught squared over 2, excuse me, delta x, delta x, it's a little messy. There we go. So we have this, we have delta x, uh, which is zero. I guess I'll do the calculation. Not that you can't do calculation on your own. It's just plugging it into a calculator. Solving it symbolically is the only part you might have trouble with. So meters per second. Square that. Meters, there we go. And that works out to about that. That's a lot of deceleration, of course. Stopping on a dime, so no. It is going to be a lot of deceleration, even though it was only going uh, 45 kilometers per hour, which turned into meters per second is 12.5 meters per second. Uh, now we have the acceleration, we have the mass because they gave it to us earlier. Left off a of zero. That's kind of important. Um, so, F is equal to MA, our favorite equation. Yeah, I'll do it down here. F is equal to 850. Kilograms times four hundred four thousand three hundred forty meters per second squared, which, as you would guess, is going to be a lot of force because it's a car stopping on a dime. That's uh, it takes a lot of force to slow down a car that fast. It's equal to about 3.7 times 10 to the 6th newtons. That's a lot. And if you ever do see an advertisement that uh, tells you this, you know, tell them you don't want to stop on a dime because that much deceleration is going to kill you very quick. That would be the result. So yeah, you don't want that. 